Hello, in this video, I'm going to go over the Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst Certification hosted by Coursera. I'll be going over who this certificate is for, the skills that you will learn, whether or not I personally think it's worth it, along with some pros and cons. Stay to the end of the video and I'll be going over open source projects that you can start with that will be very complementary to this cybersecurity course. People kept on asking me to do a review on the new Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst Certification. And then when Coursera reached out to me, who is also sponsoring this video, I decided to give it a look. And what I found, I was actually pleasantly surprised, which Microsoft honestly has never done. So let's just get started. Who exactly is this Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst Certificate for? It's essentially for the absolute beginner who has no experience in cybersecurity or has ever taken a cybersecurity course. The reason I say that is, is it because it starts at the very beginning with operating systems and it breaks it down extremely simply and really easy to understand. It doesn't go into higher level topics or like SQL or Python or the SysP. It's very focused for beginners. If you are new, it is a really good certificate to start with. Now, if you have taken other courses or have Security Plus, then maybe it might not be the best certificate for you. It goes over computers and operating systems, networks, such as what is a switch, what is a router. It goes over different types of cybersecurity threats and different vectors. It goes over Azure Active Directory and identity access management, which within the cloud is becoming more and more important. It goes over things like Microsoft Defender and why that is used. It goes over common cybersecurity tools and technologies along with different types of cybersecurity management and compliance. It also has a capstone at the end that prepares you for the Azure 900 exam, which is Azure Fundamentals. Some skills that you're going to learn is you're going to learn exactly what the importance of cybersecurity practices are and different threats that could happen. You're going to learn different types of risks and threats and vulnerabilities and what exactly the difference of those are. You're going to learn what exactly a SIM is, a security information event manager, along with how to protect data from unauthorized access. You're also going to gain hands-on experience with a capstone where you're going to learn about threat mitigation which prepares you for the Microsoft SC900 exam, which is really good. Because this exam is focused on passing that certification, I think it did a really good job in staying within scope and not just trying to pump everything that has to do with cybersecurity within one course, which some may do. Some job titles that the Microsoft Cybersecurity course prepares you for is a cybersecurity analyst. However, that is super broad. The cybersecurity analyst is just like a catch phrase title. The three main types of jobs that are labeled a cybersecurity analyst, and it's an information security analyst, a GRC analyst, and a SOC analyst. I do have a video over here if you want to go look at that. But for this specific certification, I really think it prepares you most to become a security operation center analyst tier one, where you're going to be doing basic triage of different types of alerts. What is the salary that you could maybe expect from, say, getting a job as a cybersecurity analyst? This is just going to really vary depending on where you are. But in the United States, the average salary is $93,000. But again, a cybersecurity analyst is really broad. You could be doing vulnerability management. You could be doing security operations center. You could just be doing compliance. It is a very broad title. You want to get more granular when looking for those pay salaries because some of them may be way over 90000 Some may be way less than 90000 More than just pay, there's an insane amount of opportunities within the cybersecurity field. At my level, I get at least a recruiter like every other day reaching out to me about a cybersecurity job that's in the high six figures that is fully remote. So that is a definite possibility. I personally would take a pay cut to have a remote job. Maybe employers will catch on to that. What are the pros to the Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst course? The first pro is that it's so simple and it breaks things down so easily. 
that was great. It just starts at a very basic level. And sometimes a lot of the cybersecurity certs and courses, they start at a higher level. So it can be hard to track. My brother is going through different types of courses right now, and he's just telling me about how he's confused learning about the CISSP in one of the beginner courses. And I'm like, that is mid to senior level. That's leadership and operations. Why are you learning about the CISSP right now? It only prepares you for the Azure 900 certification, which makes it a good certificate with a good scope. So it's not trying to cover everything. It uses evidence-based learning techniques. There's quizzes. There's various types of labs and exercises that you can do. There's also a capstone at the end that you can do. And so it's really about how much you want to put in. It goes over extremely popular tools such as Active Directory and Microsoft Defender. Because these are heavily used in most environments, they can apply to basically any industry, which is absolutely fantastic. You also get a practice test for the Microsoft SC900 exam at the end. What are some cons to the Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst course? The first con is it's all about Azure. It doesn't really go into AWS or Google Cloud or any of that. It's very product focused. That is probably the biggest con. It's smart of Microsoft to do that, but I think maybe saying that there are other things outside of Azure. Also, there was a ton of reading within this course, which I think is good because it creates skimmability because who, does anyone really watch the whole like eight hours of lectures? This is just based on preference. There is a lot of reading within this Microsoft cybersecurity course. You might be wondering, does the Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst certification replace a degree? And the answer is no. It doesn't replace a degree. It's not even advertising it replaces a degree. It's advertising that it will help you pass their entry-level certification, which I think is a very realistic viewpoint. I know a lot of courses and the certifications I see push to you. You can get a job within 90 days going from nothing to Something I do give them kudos for that is they're very realistic that it doesn't replace a degree. It does help you prepare for their cybersecurity certification, SC900. And getting a cloud certification is really good right now because a lot of people don't have them. A lot of people in IT also have no idea about the cloud or how to use the cloud. So their skills are a little bit outdated. If you can learn the cloud, then you're going to be ahead of a lot of people. So overall, is the Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst Certificate worth it? And the answer is yes. For the price and the amount of value that you get versus how much other courses cost, I 100% believe that it is worth the price based on the knowledge that you get. It's also not trying to pretend something that it's not. It's just preparing you for one of their certifications. They're not promising you a job in 90 days or anything like that. I do have that link below in the description if you want to get started today for free. For the supplementary projects for the Microsoft Cybersecurity course, there are two that I would suggest looking at. These are both open source. The first one is Teapot. It deploys a honeypot and then you can capture traffic and then you can view all of the attack traffic and things like that. So this is great for research purposes. You would never want to use this in a real environment because you would get way, way too much noise, but it looks really cool. You can also do a lot of things when you are installing it. Make sure to use the right version of Linux and you can deploy this in Azure, Google Cloud or AWS. The next one is a detection lab. It's no longer maintained, so it might be a little bit difficult to install, but if you can get it to work, you can deploy it in Azure. Google Cloud, AWS, and basically you can create attacks and then create detections around those attacks. It was just this year that they cut off support, so take that as you will. But those two projects plus the Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst certification are really good. If you want to get started today for absolutely no money, that link is below in the description. It is definitely worth it if you are beginning your cybersecurity journey and have absolutely no idea.
I do have this video right here on how to break into cybersecurity from nothing that you can go check out. I will see you in the next video. Bye.